sitting in traffic. I got this question, uh, or I thought about this question that I've gotten recently. Um, trying to think of how it was phrased. The basis behind it was, um, I, w- I liked using WordPress and it's easy for me to use. I want to put up a new site for a new project now. Should I use WordPress.org or WordPress.com? Immediately, when I think of putting up a site or something, even if I'm going to use WordPress as a CMS or a blogging platform, I would never really, um, I would never even think to use uh, WordPress.org. I guess you could use their paid service and, you know, propagate your DNS to your own domain and let them host it and stuff for you and pay pay to do that. But most of the time, when people are talking about using WordPress. Um, dot org sites they're talking about using a subdomain so it would be like you know clever leverage dot wordpress dot org or something like that the only time that i ever use uh free for one well there's two main questions that come up when people are talking about this one they want to know if they can use that because it doesn't cost anything i would never do that because when i try to you know build a site it's going to be a long-term project and i'm going to either try to make money off of it or try to make some sort of an impact with it or it's part of a bigger plan so i would never the reason i can tell you why i don't like it the reasons that i don't like it are um they they limit you on what you can do like if i want to run a certain page layout you cannot you can only do certain things and I don't want, and it's not self-hosted. So I don't have complete control over what is going on there. I don't like that at all. And I would never, given my experience, I would never pick something like that. Is it okay for now in the cases that I would use it, I've used it for reputation management, like for somebody's name, uh, only because I want to generate as many search results as possible for a particular query that involves somebody's name. So it doesn't matter in that instance, the purpose of it, it doesn't matter if I control it or not. The whole idea is to get more web properties out there using somebody's name to, to come up in search results and to leverage other stuff that intention is not to make those like a branded project or to really make money for them or anything else. And yeah, in that case I have, and will continue to use them for that purpose. Otherwise than that, you always want to go with a self-hosted, um, installation. That way you have complete control over what you can use. You don't want things to be limited, even if they're not WordPress approved and all this other bullshit, you want to be able to modify the pages, how you see fit. You want to be able to use whatever widgets you want, whatever location you want. You want to be able to modify the code on everything. Uh, sometimes a five-minute tweak can take care of what you need. Um, and with WordPress.com, man, I said it all backwards earlier. With WordPress.com, you can't do that. 